Good morning and welcome to another week's roundup of Sean's Picks of the Day. This week was celebrating Ross Watson Week. Ross is a very dear friend. This is absolutely a form of nepotism. I consider him a brother, but he's also an incredibly accomplished writer, designer, developer, product line manager, and jack of all trades, really, as far as it goes, including like being pretty decent at layout and that kind of thing as well. So let's take a look at a week of products that I picked that celebrate his contributions to gaming. And I will say, as always, remember, if you click on these links and make any purchases, I do, in fact, get a uh, nice little affiliate uh, percentage of the sales, for which my dog continues to thank you because that's how I pay for her kibble. Uh, also, I want to make sure I remind everyone that as of this recording, there's three days left in the Game Master or the, the GM's Day sale celebration over at Drive Through RPG. Uh, stuff is up to 40% off over there, and it's a massive sale. It's one of the big sales they have every year. It's in celebration of the passing of the great first Game Master or Dungeon Master, Gary Gygax. And uh, so it's a great time to be buying any kind of product over there. So. We'll start off with one that he did for Evil Beagle Games, which, yes, is my company. It is called A Feast of Tigers, and it's an adventure for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. He would like to start doing more such things. Unfortunately, the stuff that he's doing over at Ulysses Spiel has really got him heads down, but occasionally he'll uh, bring his head up over the water and try to do something else. But this was a, a first effort on that one, and a really exciting one. Uh, so he... Uh, he did this really cool adventure, which, quite frankly, is for characters of 9th to 15th level. It involves intrigue and politics as much as combat and magic, so it's a nice, all-around, well-rounded adventure. The next day, I chose to spotlight his work on Lankmar City of Thieves. Now, he was part of a team of writers and designers on this one. It's a Savage Worlds product. Uh, it is not yet updated for Suede, but it's still a very, very solid presentation of Fritz Lieber's original dark pulp fantasy series done for role-playing and uh, just a it's, a it's a perfect set of rules for a perfect kind of setting for for savage worlds and ross joins thomas reed timothy, timothy brian brown and daryl hardy uh and doing a lot of great work on this product the next day was rogue trader now this goes back to his days with fantasy flight games and as the lead developer for warhammer 40k role-playing for them at the time Rogue Trader, actually, there's an interesting story with that one. Uh, Ross and I have been friends for a very long time. He was, uh, he, he admired my work, for which I'm incredibly grateful, and he asked if I would be willing to be a lead writer and designer on this project, and I was incredibly grateful. It would have been an amazing opportunity, but I'm not a grim dark guy. I do not grok the 40K setting all that well, and I really kind of thought about it, and I said, Ross, this line and your, you know, your shepherding of this line deserves someone who really gets it and wants to, to live in it, so you need to find other people who really are better for this. Now, the cool thing about that is he so much appreciated my honesty there. He put me in touch with the guys at FFG that were doing Star Wars. And so I got a chance to work on the Fantasy Flight Star Wars product instead. But this is a really solid book. It really delves deeply into that aspect of the 40K universe. And actually, this is one of the better ways to do role-playing in that universe because it gives you a perfect opportunity and reason for having an incredibly diverse cast of characters uh, within that setting. Uh, and he was one of the lead writers and creators for that. The next day, we uh, looked at Torg Eternity, The Living Land. Now, this was a very interesting one. I was actually present when he was started talk first talking about his pitch. Actually, he was living with us at the time. He was a, a roommate at the time, and he and I were working together on building up Evil Beagle. But he was also doing this work with uh, Shane Hensley and the Ulysses people. Uh, he really wanted to take a cosm that didn't pop as well on the original presentation of Torg. He felt like there was more that could be done with it, a way to re you know, kind of package it and really make it more exciting, and he succeeded in spades. People are just gushing about this product. They really, really love it. He kind of delved in and did a sort of a Lost World pulp feel to it and brought out a lot of other elements that really make it sing in a way it just didn't before, I mean, it was good before, but it's really great now, and he did a fantastic job, and this was all him. This was this was his pitch and his work. Finally, we close out with the natural pick. It has to be because it is as now his pinnacle work. I say as of now because, I mean, you know, dudes are still just pouring, you know, pouring out all kinds of great work, and who knows what his next major thing is going to be. But 
returning to the the roots of his of his fame and in the industry. I mean, this guy gets invited to conventions in Europe to speak because of his work on the 40k universe, and he's done computer games and uh, all kinds of other fictional and 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 related work and consulting work because of his expertise within this universe. I mean, he's known as the Storm Warden. And there's a you know, whole uh, 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 space marine uh, division uh, or chapter that's that's dedicated to you know him being the storm warden. So he's got that kind of clout. He took all of that which he knew, plus evolving his uh, his ideas and his experiences uh, as a game designer, as a rules designer, and he crafted a brand new rule system for Wrath and Glory, Warhammer 40k roleplay. And this book uh, is is well received. Now, straight up, you know, there's errors, there's things that the book got pushed out maybe just a little too fast. Um, but they're they're going to be coming out with a new printing of it. They're updating the PDFs with all the errata and stuff like that. But the core rules design is fantastic. Every time I see this game played, people are having a blast. There's a huge fan base for it. It's incredibly popular, and it is absolutely worth your time. So there you go. That is celebrating Ross Watson Week. Thank you for indulging me on a a celebration of my friend and someone whose design work and, and work ethic I greatly admire. Ross, you're the best, brother. So anyway, thank you, guys. Uh, we will have another week next time. And as always, remember, be good and game on.